What up, 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 everybody, here I come. All right. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, hold on. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, everybody, here I come. All right. Got it out of the way. What's going on? What's going on, Miss Viz B? Israel, what up? We're going to go hard today. Dana J versus the council culture. And setup crew, the R. Kelly edition. Let's rock out. Lana, hey. Glad to see you here. What up, what up, what up, what up, what's going on, everybody? I'm here. Y'all know how we do. I'm here. So, first of all, I want to give shout outs to the number one team in the land, the dream team. Um, also, I want to say what up to O Cove, what up, the grown man. Um, I'm going to be sharing something that Happened on his platform last night um, from the clubhouse. Facebook got this new thing called Clubhouse that's strictly for them whack old iPhone users. So with that being said, I'm going to get all my citations out. What up, everybody? If I missed anybody, don't blame it on me. Don't blame it on my heart. Blame it on my mind. You know, but I want to say shout out to everybody that's here. I don't want to call you all by name. Eh. Because call y'all by name, I'm going to forget somebody. I don't want to forget nobody. But today I'm going to release the Kraken. But before the Kraken get released, I want to talk about cancel culture. Cancel culture is this culture now where, you know, these folks feel as though that they can just, if they don't like you, then they can counsel you. Don't care if anybody else like you, but if they don't like you, they can counsel you, which is totally wrong. It's a form of slavery. It's a form of dictatorship. And from my understanding, people were saying that they don't want that. So let's 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 go into let's go into what happened last night. Shout out the grown man, aka Larry. He was in Clubhouse, and this is his content that I totally disagree with. So I told him that I'm going to be giving my opinion on it today. All right, let's go. 
put it past? Do I know he was capable? Do I know that he did it? No. Do I know that he was capable of doing it? The Russell that I knew when I was at Def Jam, yeah. Paulette, did you quit your job after that after that came out? I, I well, she was, that, she was that gone by then. I ain't been I've been gone. Okay. Yet. You know, do there's I, there's yeah, a do country. I believe he was capable of it. Yes, I do believe he was capable of it. He was capable of raping a woman for three years every day at work. Yeah, I think I think, I think that his people, personality. Uh, there, yeah, there's no, a I, country I, singer I think right now. People people don't take into consideration that yeah, it was three years, but there's 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 levels of trauma. Where does where does um personal responsibility come into play though? Like in regards to Russell Simmons, I'm not talking about R. Kelly. Like I really took issue with that situation. At what point is it a relationship? At what point does your safety become your responsibility? Like I feel like she was engaged in a, in a consenting relationship, and things didn't go the way she wanted them to go, and now she wants to holler rape. Like I feel like we are doing. I, I don't feel like what we're doing is fair in 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 voluntarily victimizing a lot of these women. I'm I have a question. If Russell Simmons can get a pass because you're saying that you believe that um this lady that's accusing him is just trying to come up off or whatever, why can't R. Kelly fall into that same category? Well, let's continue listening and see what they say. I'm not saying um, that there are no victims who do uh, experience this type of trauma, but in regards to the R. Kelly situation and, and what a lot of people are saying in this room, how much we have to stop and also ask ourselves, how much of this is also propaganda, right? Facts. Because oh, shit. The, the media actually victimized these girls. Yo. I want to. I want to. These women did up. not. A lot. Of, majority of these women did not go knocking on the police doors. It was like, oh, I'm a victim. Oh, for real? Say what? Because they were scared. You're talking about. Oh. Okay. Okay, so, uh, so now, what you're listening to is you're seeing how people come in because personally, they don't like R. Kelly. So now everybody's scared and this and this. That's why they didn't come out. Bull crap. If they can come out now, they could have came out then. I'm not giving nobody a pass today. Today is final shot Thursday. Let's go. I don't want to relitigate R. Kelly. That's not what true. I'm really is talking about is the Russell Simmons situation. I, I, I think that I think that I think that believe all women is problematic because women lie. We, we know oh, that shit. with Emmett yeah. Hill. Right. At what point do we actually? But how are you not supposed to be saying? Hey, Joy. All right, let's get let's get that. Okay. Saying. All right. So now what you just heard was people who don't like R. Kelly over talk this young lady because she's speaking facts. Women lie. Men lie. Numbers don't. And if it took them 23 years and some payments and some bull crap uh, awards and some propaganda, then guess what? I'm calling cap on all of it. And here's where me and my friend Larry disagrees heavily at. If the case was solid, why no evidence have, haven't been presented yet? Why was there a fuss about the evidence? I understand they say 100 devices. I said on them devices was mostly tour stuff. It came out from the federal government. They have nothing on them devices that would help them, but it would help Robert. So with that being said, look at what's going on. Right, let's let's give let's give space to Nifis. Am I? I know I've been pronouncing your name. Please, nah, you good. You're being a bad may, liberal. May I please be added to the queue? I I, I really wasn't finished, but go ahead. Oh, no, 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 my I care was asking, <laughs> no, 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 sorry, sorry. I care down at the bottom was asking my, to speak. I care yeah. was okay. I care, go ahead. I I've been keeping I've been keeping track. I care is actually after Dread City. All right, go please. Um, 
Can I be added as well as them? No, it's the dude, the not, the not, uh, not novice. Not, not, not peace. It's not, not peace. peace. Not Sorry, not peace. Go Respectfully, ahead, not peace. Hey, hey, everybody. This, hey, everybody. This evening, listen. I want to. I want to touch on a few things, and it's real quick. I'm. I'm not going to be long winded. I'm going to try. But what I will say is that um, first of all, Cardi B, Trick Rose, dude. We have selective morality. We don't give a shit that she Trick Rose dudes and take dudes in it and abused them and took them for their money and drugged them. We don't care. We also got Woody Allen, who married a do- his, se- his, his so-called adopted daughter that he brung over here in front of y'all. Walk- Why nobody's talking about that? Woody Allen went and adopted a young girl at the age of two from the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party over in China. Raised her as his daughter and then married her. You don't see nothing wrong with that, but nobody is saying nothing about that. What up, Willie? What up, what up, everybody that came late? Nobody see nothing wrong with that. Let's finish. Walk across red carpets and gallivants and all around the streets with this young girl, and then he turns out and marries her. Nobody's ready to cancel him. We also got we got um uh, we can go Morgan uh, Freeman. We can huh? Morgan Freeman married his step granddaughter. His step granddaughter. Whoa! Listen. Don't say that about him. I didn't know what, that. What I'm trying. Yeah. What I'm, try, the point Damn I'm it. trying. The point I'm trying to make is that you, everyone in this society, has a selective morality. You want to be moral. You want to stand on your moral compass when you want to. Anybody can be offended when they don't like somebody. And 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 that that's for one thing. Facts. If I don't like you, I'm gonna be offended. But somebody can say the exact same thing that I like, and I'm gonna let it go. So it's the same way. And now you're talking about. And then let's jump to this. Let's jump to the fact that okay, we are so everybody is so ready to butcher this man. But now person in this room has said anything about the parents of these kids. When you bring him around a grown ass man after his show, and you basically pointing off your children, I agree with sister. What sister said about Russell Simmons, ain't no girl. Listen, she don't worry, I got it. What she was trying to get, Russell wasn't giving her no motherfucking money because he's a pimp, so he didn't give her no money. But he kept her ass around. He kept using her for what he wanted to use her for, and then she didn't. She just couldn't cash in, and she and when the three years was up. She was like, you know what? The juice ain't worth the squeeze. I'm out. That's what happened. And that's what any. Did y'all just see the video? Oh, I thought you was done. Did y'all just see the video with Kanye West? Go ahead, bro. It was a grown man who walked on up to Kanye West's daughters, and Kanye West ran over there to like, whoa, 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 whoa. And then that just made me think, like, when I look at little kids, like in my family, there is no way. One of these little girls in my family is gonna be around a grown stranger. Hold on, hold and you on. Know, and you it's just are, not gonna happen. Dying. And you already know where he on. How many times you gotta hear? Yeah. You know he was dating Aaliyah, so you already knew he was on bullshit. But you- let's pause that. How many times have you heard he was dating Aaliyah? I like that question. How many times have you heard he was dating Aaliyah? My answer to that will be numerous times. But then here's my rebuttal answer or my rebuttal question. How many times do you know for sure that he dated Aaliyah? It's going to get quiet. And Okov, as well as Larry, say, well, go back to the paperwork. The paperwork is there. No, that's speculation. We have heard many times that Robert dated Aaliyah. And this is, again, where me and my friend Larry disagrees. He will stick it to the cross. Robert dated Aaliyah. He murdered her. He did this. He did that. And I will say, where's the concrete proof? There's no proof. Anybody can go to a grand jury and state that. But if that was true, don't you think Robert will be charged in the Eastern District of New York for underage dating? Or pedophilia acts with Aaliyah? He's not. 
So it's a time where we got to put our thinking caps on. Like, like that's a good debate topic. Emotions will get high, tensions will get high, and that'd be a good debate topic just to see what can come out from people's perspectives. But the truth is going to hold up in court, not perspectives. So me and Larry, we can shoot perspectives all day. We can go at it all day, and we have did it for six hours straight one time, all day. But Larry wasn't there. I wasn't there. So Larry can only take the side of the accusers. I can take the side of my friend Robert. The court is going to find the truth because the truth is going to come out. What don't come out in the wash is going to come out in the rinse. What don't come out in the rinse is going to come out in the dryer. And what don't come out in the dryer is damn sure going to come out when you put that mother on the clothesline. So at the end of the day, we have to go through emotions versus truth. What we feel versus truth. I'm going to go deep. Some people might jump off here. What people are going through or have went through versus facts. Let's finish because I want to hear the rest of this. You still bringing your daughter around him. That's on the parents. That ain't got nothing to do so, with him. So, so we acknowledge not Jack 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 No, he he don't don't Come on, one mic, one mic, one mic, one mic, one mic. Gotta, he's I, a monster. One mic. That man is a monster that's going to be a monster. He He's not going to change his stripes. So I have a question for that gentleman. you saying R. Kelly is a monster. He's going to be a monster. What validates him as a monster? Because right now, we only going off of, or y'all only going off of hearsay. So what makes him a monster is because the council culture is saying, we don't like R. Kelly now. R. Kelly didn't do this for us, so we don't like him. So we're going to smear him. I mean, is that what make him a monster? Because if that's the case, then I can go out here and do a smear campaign on Oprah Winfrey and get like 50,000 people to agree with me. And then what? She's a monster? Make it make sense. Even though in my book, she is because she touched kids. But I mean, let's, let's, let's go here. I still haven't seen no 12-year-old. I still haven't seen no 8-year-old. I still haven't seen no 16-year-old produce. And I've been to a lot of court cases. I've been to a lot of court dates. And I still haven't seen what they are alleging. I'm glad Larry went into Clubhouse. Because now I get to see and hear the thoughts of different people. Let's finish. If you keep feeding him kids, he going to eat them kids. But if you don't feed him kids, he can't eat them kids. He wasn't running in those people's houses and snatching their children. Them he was going to the school. I'm sorry, children. he was going to the schools and getting some kids as well, too. He That's another lie. He was going to the schools to get the kids. I do believe he only went back to his high school to see his and to see his music teacher. So I mean, I'm going to keep it a buck. When I graduated high school, I was still going back to my high school to see my music teacher, my football coach, and my basketball coach. And just because I went back to see them, that don't make me a, a pedophile or a predator do it. So, so all this stuff that we're seeing is bipartisan emotions. And I will bet my bottom dollar Nine out of 10, this young lady was violated or this man was violated. And I keep saying it. And the person that violated them was not caught. So because a good story came out about a about an icon. Who was still at the top of his game. Who still revolutionized the music industry. 
because a good story came out about, about him and they can relate to it. Boom. Their, their victimizer now becomes him. Now, that don't make sense, but it do. Because in their mind, R. Kelly resembles the person that victimized them. Let's finish. He wasn't just talking to just parents. He was also going to school. He still high had school. to talk to the and parents. He, hold on. No, he didn't. He was going what? to high school okay. and no, trying he to didn't. talk no, to little didn't. girls. And taking little girls while right, trying to okay. talk to them. Like, seriously. Paradise. He, Paradise. Let, him, let him finish. Sorry, I'm sorry. And then, no, 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 I, I listen, get it. I get listen, it. Listen, hey, Chassie, what's the name of the movie the on Netflix? Until y'all address the fact that some kind of accountability and your selective morality that you have when it comes to Cardi B and all these other artists that have been doing this shit for years. Weinstein wasn't no admiration. That shit been going on and it's going to stay going on in the music and the art and the, um, and, and the uh, 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 entertainment industry only because when someone is their movie, it's their record, it's their label, they control the narrative. And you, that's just what it is. Men in power abuse their power. Everybody do. So at the end of the day, I'm not going to bring my kids around him. So if my kids are around him, that's on me. That ain't on him because I knew who the fuck he was. From the door, I knew who he was. And you knew he was coming to the school. But we sat there and sat idly by, jamming to his music. And yeah, you know what? Music is good. And you know what else? He's a he's a damn fit. He's a phenomenal artist. And he's a phenomenal songwriter. Phenomenal. He's one of the greatest to ever live. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let that take away from from the fact that he's great. Just because he raped them chicks. He raped wow. them little chicks. Wow. That he that he wow. Okay. Wow. Now that is the most idiotic statement a person can make. I'm not going to stop jamming to his music because he raped them chicks. Now, what chicks did he rape? Mind you, we ain't talking about bed bugs. We ain't talking about no local Joe nigga. We talking about the king of R&B, the king of music. A man who can just snap his finger, and have anybody he want. But this joker low himself to say that the king of music, Robert Spencer Kelly, raped chicks. Wow. Now, that's a new narrative. That's the narrative that people run with. Let's finish. See, this is how narratives get started. All right, all right. Wow. Well, I'm gonna, but I'm well, going to everybody accountable. And listen, I know my, my, my position is not popular because y'all still haven't hold the people that need to be held accountable for their bullshit yet. You're a hot so mess. Is Your popular. position is violent. Well, let's start with period. You. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. So we're going to. So wow. thanks so much for your comments. We're going to do uh, Dread City. Am I mispronouncing it? No, you got to write Dread City. He <laughs> added as well, please. Okay. Go ahead, Tricity. May I please speak after him? We we we're literally going in order, like literally, like let's just we're, wow. we'll be literally done, and then wow. we'll do a free for all. I'm I'm gonna um close the. You guys are oh. oh. So the hand raising is is done. We're just gonna keep the people on stage, um, and then we're gonna have like an open discussion. Um, go ahead, Mister. No, I appreciate it. Um, so the question is, are we the black America going to new R. Kelly? Um, the answer is no, but I'm explain that, right? So don't just don't jump the gun. I'm, I'm gonna explain all of that. Um, all right. So when it comes to like R. Kelly doing what he did, I don't think anybody in here could justify his actions. He's a piece of shit. He deserves to burn in hell. I think jail is a generous offer. I think he needs to go under the jail. He needs to die. Point blank. Okay, this man said Rob is a piece of shit. He deserves to burn in hell. He deserves to go underneath the jail, and he deserves to die. 
So when he becomes vindicated from all this, I wonder how this gentleman going to feel because it's one thing to go off of a documentary and to hear what other people say, but it's another thing to wish those four type of things on somebody and they are innocent. I never said Robert was perfect, but I said that he's innocent. So when you have a person that's willing to speak this type of anguish and death upon somebody, one or two things going on. Somebody did something to them that resembles the situation and they can't get over it or they just per blatant hating or they just got a dislike for this person that they won't let go. So with that being said, Zena Jones, there's no uh, cash app for the defense fund. Only PayPal. So, so people need to stop running with narratives that's not real. Let's finish. But wait, wait, wait. With all due respect, yeah. people have been justifying it. <laughs> so, so well, that's just... his actions. Well, all right. Well, all right. Let me just take that back. But I think nobody should be able to vindicate whatever he's done. Um, it's foul. And I think anybody who um who's of age who looks at a teenager and says, Yo, I want that, I'm trying to hit that, you're not right in the head. But my thing is I know how to separate the artist from the artistry, right? And I'm gonna I'm gonna explain that as well. Um so the artist R. Kelly needs to burn in hell. Wow. Now some of his music though was genius, right? He has some, some of his music was genius. Hmm. If some of his music was genius, he wouldn't be considered the GOAT or the king of music. I believe all of his music was genius, including the ones that he wrote for other people. This young brother is so misinformed. Fly, I wish. And when a woman's fed up, and I think when a woman's fed up, I go fly was on the same album. So it could have been a situation where he made that to just get the media off his back during that time. Nevertheless. He made songs that had substance that people feel personally, right? Um, but I will say this. When I look back at some of his track lists, um, when his case was going on, I look at them differently. You feel me? I feel uneasy. You know, he got songs like, uh, It Seems Like You're Ready. It's kind of weird, right? He got songs like, uh, he was doing the AJ Nothing But A Number. It's kind of weird, too. He got a song called Your Okay. If most of his music is about sex, it seems like you're ready. Why do everybody always got to take that one lyric part and equate it to a kid? Or equate it to somebody underage? Why can't he be talking to a female who just haven't been that experienced in sex? And when she met somebody like him, she's reluctant to do it, but she's hesitant. So, you know, it seemed like you're ready, but I mean, are you ready to go all the way? Age ain't nothing but a number. Let's go here. Why do that got to be related to sex? Why? Because Aaliyah sung it? Because he wrote it for Aaliyah? No. Do they realize, and I'm sorry, I stand corrected. He produced it for Aaliyah. Aaliyah wrote that song herself in the studio. Um, why can't it be, why can't it be like a 22-year-old or an 18-year-old, but I see an older guy and they'd be like, yo, I can't date you because you're older. And the guy say, okay, cool. But then that 18 or that 22 year old be like, you know what? Age ain't nothing but a number. These little young bucks ain't doing nothing for me. So let's see what you got. 
this is how you break down the council culture and the bull crap that come with it. Let's finish. Remind me of my Jeep. It's kind of weird when you think about it. You remind me of my Jeep. He said, it's kind of weird. How? If you in love with your cars, your jewelry, and a woman that you know remind you of something that you love, that means you love her too, right? Or that means you have that much of a fascination love for her, right? Make it make sense. What kind of Jeep did you have, R. Kelly? A Wrangler 4x4? Four, four? four times four is what? Do the mathematics. Oh, man. Now watch this. <laughs> Corny. A Wrangler 4x4. Four four. And then, then he said, four times four is what? Okay. So what you trying to say that he likes 16 year olds? Come on, man. This guy's stupid. This is what I mean when I say idiocy at his best. I'm fucking with y'all. I'm fucking with y'all. Oh, man. I'm fucking with y'all. But look, but look, what I want to say um, when it comes to the artistry, though, right, is that music is therapeutic, right? <clears throat> when an artist paints a picture, he has inter his interpretation of what that art means to him. The viewers have their own interpretation on what that art means to them. I will never, ever look at a person who's listening to R. Kelly. Um, I'll never judge them because I don't know what that music means to them. Somebody could have been, uh, could have been on the verge of suicide, heard I, could believe, I, I Believe I Could Fly, and decided to live, to go through life and persevere whatever evils he was going through. From the outside looking in, it seems like he's supporting a scumbag. But I don't know what that song means to them, so I will not judge. And that's why I say I don't think we'll truly be able to really mute R. Kelly as long as people keep the artistry away from the artist. And um, when it comes to support, personally, yo, all my music from like the 90s and the mid-2000s, I downloaded it on iTunes illegally like 10 years ago. So I ain't really support nobody. But that's all I want to say. Okay, well, I call the FBI on you. Um, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like... Okay, so we got um, Shima next, um, Springs, and... Um... All right. That's enough of that. Um, it's really concerning to me how people can come with their own ideology and then try to spread it. Um, it's, real, it's, it's real weird. Because council culture is just that. They are out to get you and they will counsel you at any given cost. Let me look at the chat and see what y'all talking about over here before I keep it going because I want to be there. Uh, well, okay, hold on, wait a minute. Check it. If you want to donate to the only and real R. Kelly Defense Fund, um, you can mail your checks and money orders to Douglas C. Anton Esquire at 3 University Plaza Drive, suite number 407, Hackensack, New Jersey, 07601. If you want to PayPal, no cash app. If you want to PayPal him, you can PayPal him at HTTP, HTTP semicolon backslash backslash paypal.me backslash Capital R, capital K, lowercase e l l y, capital D, lowercase e f e n s e, capital F, lowercase u n d. The reason why it's done that way because we already have a procrastinator who you will see later. A procrastinator tried to destroyed the R. Kelly Defense Fund where he gained $5,000 from a fake defense fund, him and one of his subscribers. So with that being said, things are set up that way so that way there's no mistakes. It can't go to no second accounts, no third, fourth, fifth, or sixth. It go directly to Douglas C. Anton where everything has been turned over to the account that's been set up for R. Kelly's defense. Yes, he do need, yes, he do need money for his defense. 
And yes, I am pushing the R. Kelly Defense Fund amidst of what anybody say. I'm going to see through all the way through what we have started for my boy. Simple as that. If anybody tell you it's going to any other lawyer, I will look at that side eye. I will call that lawyer and ask that lawyer himself. Just like you can call Doug Anton's office and ask yourself. Don't take my word for it. Call and ask yourself. Don't listen to the naysayers. Listen to the yeasayers. So, with that being said, I'm looking at some of y'all chats. Oh, also, that defense fund for R. Kelly, do not intertwine with me at all. So if you want to support this channel, you can cash at me at dollar sign, all capital letters, T-H-E-E-B-M-O-R-E, actor, A-C-T-O-R. You can support me that way. Okay? You can also super chat. You can hit the super chat. You get the super chat. Here on YouTube, you get the super chat. Um, so also don't forget to come holler at me over on Patreon. I will be going back active again. The reason why I haven't been active because I'm trying to lower the prices. I'm gonna be honest with you. I heard what people have been saying. I'm trying to lower the price to one price of ten dollars. Everything ten dollars. No 25, no three, no seven. I'm trying to get in to lower it to $10. And that should be done today. All right. So if you want to join me on Patreon, you can hit me at www.patreon.com backslash official Dana J. Also, go hit up my IMDB pro. Go, go hit it up. And, and when people be like, Dana ain't an actor. Dana, don't do this. Dana, don't do this. This is what I'm going to do. What I want y'all to do is hit my vanity URL. My vanity URL is a URL, and I'm about to place it in the chat, is a URL that, that takes you directly to my page on IMDb Pro. That's a page where you can come look at the projects that I've been in, the projects that I'm doing, and you can shut all the naysayers up. You feel me? You can shut all the naysayers up. All right, I'm in live chat now. All right, good. You can shut all the naysayers up. That's all you got to do is go there. And IMDB Pro is the, is the Bible for actors, directors, movies. All right. So let's finish. Like I was saying, the R. Kelly situation. People have their own opinion. But your opinion is not a valid source. Just because you have opinion, everybody got opinion. But what is the truth? Why is it that the government case is falling apart? Well, I tell you why. Because council culture is falling apart. Because people are standing up the council culture now. Now, now that we got that part out of the way, just trying to wait for some folks to come in. The part that I've been telling y'all all about, the part that I've been waiting for. For nine, man, for like a year and a half, I said, Don Russell is going to jail for what he did to Robert. You seen Don Russell pop up on platforms saying, I'm not going to jail. I'm the muscle. I'm this. I'm that. I'm this. I'm that. You seen it. Then you seen him do the unthinkable. He's showing naked pictures and everything he sent, and this and this and this and this. Then you seen him get indicted 
Then you seen him get locked up. I've been saying that people are working for Don Russell. Well, you're saying some of them people joke about, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. Yo, I got 96 people in here and 39 likes. I need y'all to hit that like button. I need y'all to hit that like button, man. Come on. Go invite your friends. Tell everybody to come over here. Because I'm going to tell you now, I'm turning into Tasha K. If I catch any of my content, whether it be audio, video, pictures, I'm striking your shit. And I'm putting it out there now. Go get your own content now. The content stealing days are over. If you don't get the approval from me, you can't use it. And depending on who you are, you better not even call me for no approval. Don't even send nobody to ask because the answer is no. So, yeah, let's get these likes up, man. Let's get these likes up. Go hit your friends and all that. Somebody said Big Bug is working for him. Well, they say Big Bug ain't. <laughs> I told y'all, I let everybody talk. But when Dana J come through, it's a problem. It's a problem. Because I let people talk. Bed bug even got on a uh, joint and was like, yo, I'm going to get you. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Then he even posted on this community chat about the police reports he got. Well, nigga, I need you to stand on your police reports. Because when I last recall, you got a problem on your hands. And Sylvia can't get you out of this. Randa can't get you out of this. Texas Black Diamond can't get you out of this. Sandra can't get you out of this. <laughs> you in this for the long haul, buddy. Remember you said uh, Kelly ain't an innocent ass dude. I told you. Sometimes you just don't play games with people. You feel me? Sometimes you just don't play with people. Okay. So. What I'm about to do. I'm about to show the people exactly what it is. How I get down. I got your videos when you lied. This is one. This is two. This is three. I got all your videos, bro. When you lied about. You're not. Um, filming in a courtroom. I got that video, bro. I got that video right here. The one that's highlighted right here. I got the one when you talking smack. Right here. I got the one when you and Jet Fly Leaks is in the car. Right here. <laughs> so with me having that the question wasn't the question wasn't when his queen 21 said play it then you, you you know you 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 playing with the right one i have no reason to cat video number one Video number 
His queen, I'm glad you over here. What's up, y'all? Yeah. We here. Where you at? Where y'all at? We here. Free kills got done. That's one. That's one. The one in the courtroom. Not that I got to prove a point, but. They said kills. That's two. They said kills ain't coming back. They knew this guy down there. That's two. So you're going to 292. Oh, you already know He's that. He's inside the court. Once the judge get in, it, it's a wrap. Right, you're just doing that. He's inside the courtroom. 219. That's two. Okay. Nah, we ain't, we ain't get asked no, uh, as we have six votes. I don't know if she had nothing. What's up, Ms. Bougie? One thing y'all going to learn is I don't I don't cat. The next one is this right here. What you want, but it's my motherfucking city. And this is where I'm from. So if I'm not supposed to bring you news in my city, then what else am I supposed to bring? That's not called cloud chasing. That's called we here, y'all, and I'm gonna keep y'all updated, you know, on what's going on. Unfortunately, I couldn't. Some shit happened. And I'm here. I ain't going to jail. What they think? That's misdemeanor ass shit, boy. Please. I thought you was locked up. Yeah, they thought I was locked up. So I was locked up. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, you so I'm good. You can't risk it all. Like, I've really come to risk it all over some live, y'all. Yeah, I was on live with y'all, to be honest with you. Uh, hey, what's up, sweet and sassy? So, like, like I said, there's no cat for me. It's no cap for me. So when I say, dude, we ain't worried about your Houston police terroristic threats. We ain't worried about that. So like I say, I can go deeper, but I got 115 people in here watching 51 likes. I need at least 50 more likes. I need at least 50 more likes. Then I ain't on front. I'm about to play his game. Somebody hit my cash app with something. I got 118 people here. I got a lot more to show that y'all want to see, that y'all will need to see. So hit that like button. That's all. I'm going to play their game today. Hit that like button. And the process of them hitting that like button, I'm going to give them some time to think. Like, do they, do they, do they really want to do it? Da, 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 da. I think you want to. Because what I got to show is going to be a proven fact that, Bed Bug, your paperwork is coming. We already done seen you in motions. We already done seen your channel show up in motion. We done seen you talk about Azriel cars on fire at the time that it happened. But I wonder how many phone numbers you're going to have now. That's all I'm going to say to you. Let's get them likes up. I need 48 more likes before I go to the next part. 48 more likes. Is either you're going to like it or you're not. And if you ain't, then hey, that's cool. I shut this down and go straight to my Patreon and just share it on my Patreon. Play him inside the courtroom one more time. Okay.
I love to do stuff like that. Hold on. Surely will. They said kills. They said kills ain't coming today. They knew this guy down there. Oh, we already know that. Once the judge get in. Bro, I'm so called video. What video are you talking about? Two nineteen. Two nineteen. Two nineteen. The Fantasia. No, nah, we, we ain't get asked no, uh, as we have six bowls of the animals here. Let's see, can't see that guy. No, I'm not lying. Let's see. Let's get them likes up. Get them likes up, y'all. Comes off the elevator, okay? All y'all that's on the lawn, just go ahead and hit hit, hit, hit the like button. That's all. Yeah. All y'all that's on the lawn, just go ahead and hit the like button. That's all. Let's get them likes up, man. Come on. Get the likes going. Cause I want to get to the next part. The next part is everything that I've been telling y'all from day fucking one. I need 38 more likes. 38 more likes. It's unbelievable how your body is coming from me. Thirty-eight more likes, man. Them boys are coming. I'm about to show you that them boys Them boys are coming. Because, see, I got some stuff that nobody else willing to talk about. And I wonder why. Y'all know my dear little sister, the reject over there, that always want to read stuff first and can't read, but I need Google to do it. I wonder why. I wonder why nobody want to talk about it. Well. I guess now you don't have a choice because Dana is going to talk about it all. What's the date of the day? The 25th. I got 73 likes. I need to get 100 likes. I got 125 people in here. I got 17 dislikes. So that equals out to, let's see. Seven and three, ten, zero, one, eight, nine. Okay. So that equals up to 90 people. So that means I have 
36 people in here. So 36 people who ain't hit that like button. I need 36 people to hit that like button. That's all. Hit that like button. Because we're going to go into why nobody. Better yet, let me do this. While I'm waiting on y'all to hit that like button, right? That's what I'm going to do. While I'm waiting on y'all to hit that like button. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cause see, I'm waiting for y'all to hit that like button, and ain't nobody doing it right now. I'm, I'm at seventy eight, one person. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Okay. All right, that's how we're going to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm logged in. New search. Okay, search. Nope. New search. Play search. Okay. I got 85. I need to get to 100. I'm saying I need to get to a hundred. Gank that. If people who don't bring y'all nothing can bring y'all stuff, then somebody that can bring y'all a whole lot of content should be able to. Let's see if it's in this one. Let's see. I got 88. Come on. Got eighty-eight. Back out of that. Back out of that. Get into this one. It must be in this one. I'm gonna show y'all how to do it. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's how we gonna do it. I'm at eighty nine. Come on. I need a hundred, a hundred likes. Wow. Don't send me nothing now. Come on, let's get them lights up. Say that boy ain't got it no more, and he broke wild, comedic. 
Have fun, eat these niggas act. I always had to cry. Ain't gotta take it back. I ain't got no worries. My session unaffected. All these cars in my garage. I make my feel neglected. Yeah, I let them borrow my swag. They still making payments. I'll be going down on that pussy like rap song in that bass. They got my top down in the winter time. Cause it ain't cold in them payment knives. Come on. Tell you. Man, he can post all he want on his community post, man. Post all he want. I got them all. You know people too, so do I. Watch, Watching cock block and a screenshot. <laughs> oh, man, I see it. I see it. 95. I need five more. Five more before I release the crack. And for y'all that think I'm capping, I'm going to give y'all a sneak preview of what I'm talking about. I'm going to give y'all a sneak preview of what I'm talking about. Come on. I need five more. I'm going to give you a sneak preview of what I'm talking about. <laughs> what up, blessing? I need two more people. Then that cracking will be released. You see what it say? It's time to lock and load. Then it says governments, governments worldwide are struggling to contain a new virus that could help a huge impact on billions of lives worldwide. The virus is called truth. You see underneath it say release the cracking. Then it says Looking for the gravy train. Then underneath you see me with a dollar for the king in the background. I'm waiting for these two people to hit that like. Once I get a hundred, it's a wrap. I see 98. I don't see 99. I see 98. But I watched them go on the walrus page and Oh, no, I'm going to call her as uh, Sadie. No more walrus, a Sadie with that goddamn wig on because she couldn't close the side of that motherfucker. So I'm going to call her Sadie. That's what it is. I'm going to call her Sadie. So they was on Sadie channel talking trash. And Gucci's like, yeah, Cal, I ain't here. And uh, Marshmallow was like, that's right, Cal, that's right, Cal. So I keep telling y'all, y'all laugh now, but you're going to cry later. Oh, there go that hundred. Let's go ahead and release the cracking. Let's go ahead and do it this way. U.S. Department of Justice. <laughs> it was filed on 2 21 United States Attorney, Eastern District of New York. 271 Camden Plaza, East Brooklyn, New York, 11201, February 23rd, 2021. Mr. Douglas Morris, it was sent to him. United States versus Donnell Russell, criminal docket. Dear Mr. Morris, because Mr. Morris asked to see what, what they have on his client. So they said that they will release a whole bunch of stuff but they only give them a little bit. So he said, dear Mr. Morris, cause yeah, I'm not leaving no bed bug behind. And close, please find the government's additional discovery in accordance with rule 16 of the federal rules of criminal procedure. 
the government also continues to request reciprocal discovery from the defendant, which is Don Russell. And close, please find copies of the following items. Discovery, discovery is at 11. You see, it started at 11 and not one. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff they're not giving them. But it said affidavit and search warrant to search a forensic examination report of an Apple iPhone belonging to the defendant. Like I said. He was working with the feds until he messed up his agreement by getting on the internet. He wasn't supposed to be on the internet, which is Don Russell. 12, forensic examination report for an Apple iPhone belonging to the defendant. 13, subscriber information for three Google accounts. Pay close attention to this. Subscriber, subscriber information for three Google accounts. Business records certification. Here's where we're going to have some fun at. Sprint records for telephone number 312-975-5608. T-Mobile records for telephone number 312-975-5608. I know y'all asking, how can he have Sprint and T-Mobile with the same number? Mm -mm. Well, I'll be damn. 15A, business record certification. Ooh Hold on. It's about to get ugly real quick. It's about to get ugly real quick. Real quick, it's about to get ugly. Watch what I tell you. T-Mobile Records for telephone number 312-203-3811. This is where I got to pause that. Mm. I got to sit up. T-Mobile Records for telephone number 312-203-3030. I ain't going nowhere. well. I ain't going nowhere. well. But I bet, I bet people want to know why I paused there, right? Well, let me show you why I paused there. Because when I first met Kevin Terrell, yeah, we all know I'm about to put it down. When I first met Kevin Terrell, Kevin Terrell had two numbers. This 773-413-999977. He got that in the midst of our second debate, our second debacle. This 312-730-5687. He had. But if y'all remember, Kevin had two phones, right? So that second phone, when you catch it, say I got it. You notice he don't use that second phone no more. And if he still got it, he don't have this 312-203-3030 number. So what leads me to believe that when Richard Arline, a.k.a. A.R. Rich, called him, 
and said, yo, Don got some work for you. That second phone was Don Russell's phone that he was leaving or using, I'm sorry, that he was using. Here's my call log. Matter of fact, I'm going to do it in front of you too. So, I don't know if y'all can see it. You see it? Okay. So, we about to go here. Contacts. Let's go to Kevin. Here we go. Ah. Uh. Hold on. <sighs> I don't know. This thing be killing me, man. Clean fingernails. I don't mind putting mine in the camera. There we go. Y'all see it, right? So that way, you know, it's no capping over this way. So can't nobody say, well, he doctored it up. No, Kevin, that's when we had that, uh, my, when, when I did my second rally, that's the number that Kevin was calling me off of. The 312 203 3030. Well, with that being said, if Kevin was calling me off that number, right? How the fuck that same number end up here? How the fuck did that number appear here? Let's continue. Business records and certification, 16A. 17, AT&T, business record for IP address. 17A, business records certification. 18, T-Mobile records. Which explains how Kevin <laughs> was talking to Cash, was talking to our cousin, Michael, because he was working for Don. Let's finish. Business record certification. Google records related to various YouTube videos. The video they talking about, I got them. Don Russell on the crazy Texas Black Diamond. Don Russell on Neek at Night. Don Russell on Kevin Terrell's repeatedly. I got them all. And if I got them, <laughs> you know, the overheads happen. 19A, business record certification. 20, Facebook records for surviving lies account. That means cash is gone too. It's only a matter of time. 
Oath records for two Yahoo email accounts. That's how they was distributing Rob's music. It just so happened that when it would get put out, I would snatch it and send it up the chain. Business record certification. Subscriber information for account ibdrussell at gmail.com. 22A, business record certification. Here's where we're going to get down to the nitty gritty at. <laughs> United States Postal Service USPS record for tracking number 7018-0680-0001-3304-2470. Where's my other phone? What'd I do with that real quick? Because we about to have some fun today. Let's go. USPS tracking. Let's go. This is why they hate me so much. Because I knew the operation. I seen the shit. I tried to help people I considered friends. They decided to go along. Now they all must pay. Robert will walk free and they will pay for the bull crap that they've done. Okay. Trap enough. Okay. Nine five. Hold on. And I don't care who don't like it. Like I said, I'm not in here for friends. My concern is Robert. Okay, good. So 23, United States Postal Service, USPS, records for tracking number 708. You know, y'all got this, right? Well, I thought Don Russell and his mama didn't send nothing to Faith's lawyer. You see where it went to with the tracking number 7018. That went to Brooklyn, New York. 23A, business record certification. 24, USPS records for tracking number 9590-9402-4018-8079-696358. What makes this package so special? This is the package that went to the Eastern District of New York court claiming that Robert wanted to fire Greenberg and his attorneys. And I told y'all from day one that he was behind it. You seen his so-called sis Sandra and all of them come on and say, no, he's not. Well, I'll be damned if he's not. It's now in his arrest warrant that the government is given to his lawyer. 24A, business record certification. 25, redacted report of investigation regarding the defendant's arrest. Uh-oh. What could that be that they don't want the government to see? I mean, that the government don't want the world to see. What could that be? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what could that be? I don't think nobody's going to ever tell. <laughs> or will they? Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Things that are remain to be seen. I'm going to tell you. One thing you can have with me is when I'm a friend, I'm a friend. 
But when I'm an enemy, I'm a real true enemy. And I won't stop at nothing until stuff is done the way it's supposed to be done. So while one stink puss and all them over there talking crazy, I don't even worry about nothing. I just go here and I just laugh about it. Like, I see what's going on. I laugh about the shit. 24A, business record certification. I can't find what I'm looking for. 26, redacted text message communications from telephone number 312-203-3030 to Jane Doe number one and Jane Doe number two. Woo! So Kevin was doing Don Russell's bidding. Mm, mm, mm. Ain't that about some shit. So Kevin was doing Don Russell's bidding. Well, I'll be damned. Look at this shit right here. Redacted text message communications. Y'all see the way he go after Azriel. And the whole time, he didn't know Jane Doe number one was Jane Doe number one, which lead me to believe that Jane Doe number one has been switched out from New York. And Jane Doe number one here is not a live. The question is, I know who Jane Doe number one is now. And I will not be releasing that publicly. I'm looking for something that I can't find. I hate that. When I need something, I want to go back to it directly. So... I'm just saying, man, like, I love it when people defend the bad guys. Because it lets me see who all the bad guys are. And when that happens, that means I get to hit all the bad guys. And don't got to feel bad about nothing. Don't got to feel bad about nothing. Because I can hit all the bad guys. Hold on, y'all. I'm looking for something that I'm about to show you that don't make sense to me. And now that we know that Kevin should be getting his paperwork very, 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 very soon. I told the nigga I'm going to be reading his indictments. He thought I was joking. Not playing. I'm going to be reading all of that shit. Hold on. Like I said, I'm trying to look for this one law situation. And I can't find it. God damn. This was pissing me off because I want to show y'all this. And it's going to make anybody that really follows Rob. It's going to puzzle them too. And when I told people from the jump, stay away from Don Russell. Everybody ran to who? Don Russell. So now you're starting to see shit pop up. You're going to start seeing people disappear. I told y'all that too. Nobody wants to listen. So now I'm not rewarding nobody else with nothing. I'm not even going to say nothing else. Um, I 
I'm not even going to say nothing else. Only thing I'm going to say is, I tried to tell you. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Baby, I got it. I think I got it. Hold on. Here we go. I got it. Now, I'm about to show y'all something, right? That don't make sense to me. Everybody know Don Russell is not for Robert. Everybody know that. Take that out. Everybody know that. Everybody know Don Russell's doing stuff for itself. Um, what I need to understand is this right here. Can somebody help me explain this? Can somebody help me explain this? Ain't no way possible. You're going to be R. Kelly and Don Russell's sister? But these are the same people that the Bolski was telling you about. These are the same people that I was telling you about. That's bouncing back and forth. If you're fighting for Robert, by all means, fight for Robert. But don't mislead the people when you're fighting for Don Russell. So I got a question to everybody. With the Paw Patrol group over there, after their alliance, and majority of them, all of them over there talking about they for Don Russell, and they believe that Don Russell was set up by me and Doug Anton. When y'all clearly see that we don't have nothing to do with it, the federal government been investigating him because of what what was sent over in Robert's case. Um, all these donations and stuff that they're taking up, that they're saying is for Robert when they clearly telling y'all that they rock with Don Russell, do y'all believe it could be for Don Russell to get a lawyer on the federal level since he have a public defender? Things that make you go, hmm. Things that make you just sit back and wonder, like, they saying they collecting money for Robert's defense. Through the petition, you never seen nothing in response from the lawyers. They said they collect the money and sending it to Nicole. Nicole has said she hasn't received a dime. And you didn't see a receipt from the lawyers. Now, with them over there, just for them to shut me up, don't you think they would have produced a real receipt? But they didn't. Things that make you wonder why. His queen, 2021, she's over here. I, I guess she's trying to defend or what's going on, but I don't know. Um, I know my mom to take care of that. Yes, I have known Kevin to have that number. His queen, 21. Um, I showed it to you both ways, his queen 21. 
I don't erase numbers from my phone. Oh, Lana ain't playing. That is. So have it ever dawned on y'all that for real, all this money that's collecting and they saying, don't send nothing to Doug Anton because he's not on the case. But if you cash, I mean, I'm about to say cash app. Lord have mercy. Wrong thing. Correction. Before they run with it like, I told y'all you got cash app. No, Doug Anton do not have a cash app. If you PayPal Doug Anton, it's going to go directly to him. It's going to be the same PayPal. If you send it through the mail, it's going to go to Doug Anton. And you're going to get a reply with a thank you card. Cat, why the fuck I keep saying cash? What's going on? PayPal. That's because I'm reading this damn chat. I shouldn't even be on this shit. I shouldn't even be reading this chat. PayPal. You will get a receipt from PayPal and then Doug will definitely, will definitely send you a thank you postcard. I just said I shouldn't even be reading the chat, but I'm being nosy. Don Anton, you mean Doug Anton is still in the case? Yes, he is still in the case. He's still in the case. So you got to sit back and wonder. Doug Anton even came to my page and gave you a breakdown of what was in the defense fund, how much they took out the spin, and what's in there at that current time. And you seen Bed Bug go ape shit. Doug Anton coming in Dana J chat and he talking about this. That's some fucking full shit. Why would you get mad if you really for Robert? If the lawyer is giving you a breakdown, what's in the defense fund at that time? Excuse me. Why would you get why why, why would you get mad about that? Especially if you're fighting for Robert. You shouldn't worry about what hit your cash at, your PayPal. The one instrument that you complained about when I when I was talking about opening that up, which is Zell, but now you have a Zell. Beware of the false prophets. I kept telling y'all that, and I told y'all that he works for Don Russell. Y'all thought I was a game. Y'all thought I was joking, but when Don was so easily to share with him. Everything they got going on? Come on, man. That's an employee-employer talk. Even with Dabowski, he didn't want to share too much with Dabowski. But with Kevin, he shared everything. One thing about me, I'm going to keep it a buck. When I seen Dabowski and Kevin rocking together, I threw that boomerang. And that boomerang was both of them work for Don. But the Bolsky clearly separated himself from Don and Kevin. Shit. Ain't nothing I can say. Because now we see who's still in Don Russell's back pocket. But then, as of lately, we've seen all the people come out and say, oh, we for Don. Even the ones that supplied material to get Don jacked up, they said they for Don. Those are the ones that you really, really need to watch. Because they don't mean Kel's good. They don't mean nobody else no good. Hell, they don't mean their self no good. So the crazy part about it all is when I threw that boomerang and I put Dabowski and Kevin in the same book together, Dabowski turned that page, then jumped off the book, then closed the book, and then flushed the book. 
Nah, man, you ain't gonna put me in that shit. But you see how deep Kevin went. Now Kevin talking about, I don't know Lily lies. If you don't know Lily, how was she so comfortable to call you and tell you what Kel said about me? And then you came public. Kel said he loved you and this and that. Make it make sense. These are the hidden archives that the newbies that's jumping on the loud mouth don't know about. I told y'all it was fuck y'all. I told y'all that paperwork was coming. Nobody wanted to believe me. So I just shut up and watch. And as I showed y'all, like this shit right here, it's confusion. Because Rob don't fuck with Don. But you see, the narrative is now Rob don't fuck with me. Why? They thought that would shut me up and I'm like, man, fuck Rob, man. And they can do it all they want to do and continue scamming. But hey, I don't care who else they scam. If y'all dumb enough to give these people y'all bread, then I'm dumb enough to laugh about it and not say shit and continue fighting for, for Robert. That's how I look at it. If y'all dumb enough to keep Supporting these dumb motherfuckers that's scamming and taking y'all bread. That's telling y'all it's for R. Kelly. But then going to get a lace front wig that can't close. Going to get an Airbnb. And a boatload of crab legs and then taunt y'all. Y'all deserve every bit of, of abuse that y'all get. Then you get another dude to talk about R. Oh, Kelly ain't an innocent ass dude. They gonna lock him up like Bill. Oh, R. Oh, Kelly, a goofy motherfucker. You doing this over some pussy? Over some young pussy? Yeah, anybody that say that, that don't give y'all explanation about why they said that and why they changed and why all of a sudden they feel the way they feel? Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Okay, Rock and Robin. Like I said, while everybody talking about going down memory lane, they don't want me to go down memory lane. Because I got some shit that'll make everybody be like, yo, I can't believe I'm even listening to this. This dude said this? Yeah, got it all. I don't have files for nothing. I got files on the for a rainy day just when people try to play with me. And when you try to play with me, I can always make sure the files are great. And some people I gave more than enough chances to. And they still doing the fuck shit. That means I can never talk to them again under no circumstances. Under no circumstances. And I mean that. Under no circumstances. So when people tell you, oh, Dana talking about me to this person, don't believe that. Especially if you don't see me talking to them in the public, in the open, don't believe I'm talking to them. I put that on everything I love. There's a reason why I'm not talking to people anymore. But I'm gonna let y'all hear a little something real quick. Hello. What's up, buddy? The click is on the phone. The click. Hello, Dana. I hope they gang raped his ass. Who said that? Who's saying that? Um, 
the girl just blocked me. The girl just blocked me, Dana. Um, grown man, because I said, you, you're some shit. I said, you must be getting information, because all you do is, I, I, is talk about people like you some bitch. <laughs> Uh, he, said, he said, "Block that bitch." Um, he said, "Block that bitch." That he gonna investigate me. Block that bitch, Gucci, and um, and he, um, he said that ugly. He he said that ugly ass. Um, he said that ugly ass. Uh, I don't know what he. I don't know what he's saying, but whoever, um, uh, they helping the, uh, help the fucking blogger, a uh, dumb motherfuckers. What? Yeah. And he, he talked about you too. Yeah, he talked about you too. Saying what? Um, and he said, uh, he said, shout out to Levi. Shout out to Levi. Yeah. Yeah. Just giving you a little bit of how the jealousy bone was starting, and when I really stopped talking to people, they go behind my back and talk to people about me. These are the same people that you hear calling me, telling me what other people are saying. The same people. The same people that you see now trying to throw me under the bus. You ain't see what's posted in the damn group? Huh? You ain't see what's posted in that little fucked up group? No, that's what we trying to see. We don't see nothing posted. We don't see nothing. That's why we... Spoiler, mm -hmm. she... Spoiler, but them motherfuckers took Team Truth joint and spread it around talking about Dana J part of the uh, Enterprise. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why, why would y'all put that shit on the internet, man? That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Hell yes. That's going to implement me in some shit. And that's going to put me back on the motherfucking radar. No, I'm not in that group no more. Oh, my God. I don't see it. Somebody, yeah, because I saw it. I sent it to Oh, oh yes. I see it now. And that's the shit that everybody mad at me about. And I you Move up, move it up, move up to the top. Hold on, y'all got me nosing now. Hold on. Who put that in there? Hold on, I'm going up. Hold on. All these things in here. That's you see the paper with the, the yellow envelope? I mean, the yellow envelope right there? That's, That's what I'm going up. I'm going up. I'm going all the way up. Oh, yeah. It, it, Information it, sheet, and it says uh, December 5th, Brooklyn office. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Who posted? Somebody named Ruti? And they got Dana's name on it. They said they got Demetrius Smith, Kip, Dana, um, Bubba. They got Will Eady. They have Cheryl Mack. They have Joyce and Azriel. They have Mayweather, the Mayweather sisters, Juice the trainer, Susan Logan, David McDavid, oh, David. <laughs> Social inter intercourse, interchange of idea and opinion, or who, who, who posted this shit? Who posted this? Ruthie posted that. Ruthie posted this. Yeah, Ruthie is the one posting this stuff. Who is Ruthie? Yeah, I know. That's why I. I I, I don't block up my shit. I don't even want to fuck with them. You know, and this is shit I be talking about. While they're wasting negative energy, they you know. What the fuck? So 
So with the fake outrage now that Dana is the bad guy, Dana trying to set Rob up, when did this feeling come? Did it happen then or did it happen now? You never know what I got. Hell. I never know what I got. But <sighs> let me see how long I've been on here. Because I'm done even trying to help people from this point on. Well, like I say, y'all can pay or y'all can play a video of me being sentimental about Robert, about me feeling how I feel. And then when nobody, when it was said that Robert might need a place to stay because nobody wanted to, wanted to get him a place, I said, shit, I put it in my name. Um, hell, some people just don't understand, like, the fake outrage is bullshit. I'm just going to call it like it is. It's fake outrage. And the fake outrage that's going on is because Dana J walked away and did things his way. And because I will not join back with them, I won't talk to them. Now I'm the problem. And that's fine. I will be all of that. But one thing I won't be doing is wearing that goddamn jumpsuit. That's what I won't be doing. You won't see me in no orange jumpsuit. You won't see me with that. But I wonder who else will be seen with an orange jumpsuit. Um, and people saying that they don't do nothing wrong. Oh, some type of paperwork or something? Yeah. Send me that. Uh, you know, I'm driving. I'm going to when you get a chance, because I'm going to fix my ass something the day. Yeah, she's on that, um, I, I get it from you. On that case. And, um, yeah, she's on that. So okay, is, uh, is it her and Beverly? Some girl named Brenda. Beverly or Brenda, somebody. Now I get it from you. Yeah, because I'm going to fix her right up real quick. I get it for you. So I'll take it back home. And uh, what is the Minnesota joint? Yeah, I think it's Minnesota. But I get it for you. I, I, I put it out. I said it on to my computer. All right. That's what you Oh, yeah. She tried to dog me out yesterday. A bunch of lies, so she just don't ever give up, huh? Right. Is Joy okay? Huh? Is Joy okay? Yeah. Yeah, she's straight. Joy straight. Ass straight. I know ass. I saw ass online. She can't she came back on again today. Oh wait, you too? Oh, not on YouTube, on her Snapchat. And when she's... And she took a picture of the dog, Belize. And she has, um, on her Twitter. Belize is on her Twitter. But I told everybody that for the shit, Belize is like, no, no, she don't, okay? It's, and it's not Belize, it's belief. Belief, I know. Belief, I guess, I believe. Yeah. Belief, I know. Uh, so... Here's the crazy thing, okay. So, uh, so her account on Twitter is is what? Is the Azriel most one, right? Uh, that is the most announcing. Screenshot and send it to me. Okay. Ah. 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 
So Dana was looking up who? Dana was stalking who? Mind you, this is six oh five in the morning. I love y'all back. I saw I read that one page on Snapchat. Um, she, she's on the same. She was on that's not her, but that's on that. She was on live with her. Um, um, Snapchat. What? She's that's all the time she got. She don't have no face. She don't have no face. She just said this is my YouTube. She said it on the Snapchat. This is my new channel. She's gonna do YouTube and she'll go live too. Yeah, and she set up a YouTube account. And she said it. She said it. And then said it. I was on some of the live ones. She got on Snapchat. Yeah, so like so like stalk this girl through every platform gave out her address and you think Dana want to be part of that? No, you the type of person you are. I wouldn't think you put yourself in that type of predicament, knowing that the feds and everybody will look at you if that money is being stolen. Here's the thing. A lot of them just want something to talk about because remember Hollywood next to it? And see, in a minute, I in a minute I said with Hollywood next apology. Uh, all of a sudden, Levi turned on me and said, now that. I know you, the type of person you are. I wouldn't think you put yourself in that type of predicament, knowing that the feds and everybody will look at you. Hold on. Because I want y'all to hear this exact part. Three twenty five. That's the whole. No, that's three. Yeah. I don't want anything. The only thing I, I mentioned was about Dallas becoming a makeup artist, friend. But if that doesn't happen, it's okay. My child's still gonna be all right. You understand? But I'm not going. Me, I'm not selling my daughter for to be no makeup artist for Robert. I, none of that. None of it ever happened. None of it. I know you, the tax person you are. I wouldn't think you put yourself in that type of predicament, knowing that the feds and everybody will look at you if that money is being stolen. Here's the thing. A lot of them just want something to talk about because remember Hollywood next to it. And see, in a minute, I apologize. In a minute, I said with well, Hollywood next apology. Uh, all of a sudden, Levi turned on me and said, "Now that." I'm working with them, and I find it funny that me by and Angela real close. That's fine. Listen to the setup clues. But, but the minute I bring up that, um, at the minute when I start asking questions about that motherfucking, um, what about that motherfucking in the beach? Now all of a sudden I'm hating on them about the beach. Get the fuck out of here. And I feel, I mean, it's a lonely road. Okay. It's like you don't know who to trust, you don't know who, who's doing what, and it's so, so unfair. That's why now I'm, I'm only talking to you, Chantel. 
Ben don't have call me the way you used to no more. Black Ben don't call me the way you used to no more. I want to share something with you, and I I don't want I, I don't for the fire be the same and, for the fire the same thing that spirit and fire. It's like the same thing that spirit and fire shared. It's probably the same thing that Hollywood next shared out of anger. But I'm listening. For Hollywood next, yeah. You know how you know how I know Ben are best friends. Best friends. They're very close. I know you're talking on the phone a lot, but I don't know about being best friends. They're very close. They're very close. Okay. You know they're very close. And they talk to that all the time. Yeah, but I kind of feel that. I don't know. I can't put my finger on it, but I had to back away for a second. Don't trust anybody you're just meeting. I promise. Don't trust everybody you're meeting. Please do, Medina. Let them show themselves to you first. You was telling me about yourself the whole time. It's not that I don't want to share anything. It's just that when you came at me, like if I'm part of stealing money, I'm not stealing money. Then I don't even want to talk about it. And then I hope you're not recording. No, I'm not. I just, I, I mean. Are you serious? Not that I'm stealing money, but more of like he's questioning my because why are you fucking with me pretty much. No, it's more okay. I got so angry. Um and Dallas said, Dallas said, no, you just open your mouth too much, you just run your mouth too much, and that's the problem. You think that everybody's just like like you friendly and all that. And, and, that and see, but see the thing is, um then I want to tell you, but I just no, because you know how it is. You you gonna have that taping, and I don't nah. know, I don't want that. No, nah. but I feel on my kids that I'm not taping that. It's just I don't trust them. Don't trust them. That's why I I, I, cut, I cut them off yesterday because they attacked me. Ooh. And. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. No, and that's why I sent you that message yesterday. What? That's why I sent you that message. I know you probably just thought it just came out the all at the blue. No, I mean, something had happened, but I didn't know what. Something was a whole attack. And I rather, I rather see you in person. But I mean, I mean, hey, you can pull up anytime you want. Please, if I understand, I and I um I just made a decision that I'm just gonna leave people alone and I'm just gonna say to myself, I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna pray. No, 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 I'm not trying to So a short day over a vendor? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm saying Shante is not part of it at all. Shante is not. And um So what happened yesterday for you to be excited? I'm not I feel you know how I feel when when somebody is more than one person saying something to me, and then they're questioning, okay, it was like he said that my story changed up about how I met you and how my daughter is like, oh, one person said that, that your daughter had a flat tire, and the next person said, oh, I thought you said that he he helped your daughter when somebody broke in her car. I said, first of all, I said, I ain't saying nothing about no flat tire. Like I'm a liar. Don't oh, so call who me a liar. I'm not a liar. I'm not gonna eat them. Who's that, Bella? Dana, let's, I don't even know. I'm, I'm angry right now. No, that should make me mad now because why would it come at you? Because you're gonna bring it, because you're gonna bring it up. No, I'm not. I want you to bring it up. No, I don't want you to feel, I, I'm, I'm upset and I don't like it because I already feel that, you know, I'm, I, you can't do no wrong. You can't do no wrong. I'm always, for, no matter what you do, I'm always for you. What? And, uh, let me explain something to you. My relationship with you, I told you, would yeah. never break though because of what you did for my child. So oh, what a lie! Yeah, this has nothing to do with R. Kelly. I could give a, I could give a rat yeah. ass about anything like that. Um, so to me, from for, for people to think I'm stealing, for people to think that I, I am part of whatever thing that they got cooped up in their head. I have a problem with that. I have too. Because I'm not stealing. I haven't gotten that one dime from you. I 
I can't believe Brenda is coming at you with this shit. Like, block. Dana, 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 don't do this. Don't do it. I ain't saying who it was. No, no, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, okay, so we put. Can you tell me what actually happened? Like I said, it's just between me. I'm not, so no, I'm Dana, I'm not. It's just this recording thing. I don't trust it because I don't, you know, I'm, I get tired of stuff happening around here. I'm, like you know, I said, I'm, giving up. I'm not recording nothing. So, but I'm just like Hollywood. Just like Hollywood's next session was recording Dr. Rogers and Dr. Rogers' message to put it out right there, right? Remember? I was here. I remember that. But I'm, I wasn't recording, but who else was on the phone recording? That just so happened to slip me a recording. <laughs> but I'm telling you, I'm not recording. <gasps> I'm just, I love my bro. Like, what is really going on? I'm just so tired of everybody. Everybody making a good, coming up with their own stuff in their head and believing one thing, and it's not true. I'm just tired, and I don't like being caught up in nothing. I don't like nobody accusing me of anything. Jenna, you know me. Right. I work hard. I work hard for what I have. I do not steal. I do not take from anybody. I have no desire to take from anybody. And I'm the one putting money into the defense fund. Where is Sean for no, don't bring Chante involved in it because I don't. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm just, don't bring it. Don't okay. bring it involved in it because they, they talk to each other, and I don't want nothing coming back to me. Okay, okay. I don't want nothing. Um, Everybody, they talk to each other. And I just I have nothing to do with it no more. And I and nobody's gonna change my relationship or how I feel about you. Right. Period. Nobody's gonna change that, and I don't care. So let me ask you this: This way, yes or no? I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say. I'm not because I can't. Okay. I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm just fret. Tell me, I'm frustrated. I'm mad. I'm tired of the bullshit. And you know what I mean? Because it, it, it turns people away and wanting to help with this whole situation. Because I don't have to be there. I don't have to pay my my money going to Airbnb and all that kind of stuff. I don't right. have to do that. That's something I chose to do because that's what I want. I don't want to sleep with Robert. I want mm. nothing from that man. There's nothing. There's no hidden agenda from me of anything. You understand what I'm saying, Dana? There's no hidden agenda. I don't want anything. The only thing I, I we mentioned was about Dallas become a, a makeup artist friend. But if that doesn't happen, it's okay. My child's still gonna be all right. You understand? But I'm not going. Me, I'm not selling my daughter for to be no makeup artist for Robert. I, none of that. None of it ever happened. None of it. If it's an opportunity, that was what it was supposed to be an opportunity. Nothing else. Damn, I ain't know my brother had this. for so many damn things. And you know me, Dana. You are all people. You know the type of person I am. That's why I'm just sitting back I there. thought I did. I've helped so many damn people. I've, I've, even Nari, when she was trying to come to Chicago, I paid for her stuff. She gave me the money back, but I helped her. And now to this day, she don't talk to me. It's like all these people, man. All these damn people. And I'm tired of it. And it seems like everybody got a hidden agenda against them. Everybody does. Yeah. Everybody does. And if I'm sticking with you, I'm, I'm, I'm an enemy now. I'm an enemy because I'm still sticking with you. Can that sound like the agenda of your mom? Of course, of course, of course. Every time somebody's somebody is attacking me about something, every time turn around, somebody saying Sylvia did it. Sylvia part of Dana. She 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 know where that money is. She know where he put that money. Don't believe her, y'all. And I have not touched one dollar of anybody's money. So why you still got my name as well? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What is he saying there? I mean, it's talking about the car. You buying a car and all this kind of stuff. Then I feel so bad for you. I really do because you're in this real hard. I could walk away. Yeah. I feel really, really bad for you. You're taking shots here and there and there everywhere. And people wonder why you go off. Yeah. But 
I'm just so tired of it. I am so tired of it. See, and I, and I find it funny because now they're not responding. Now them folks don't know what to do. But I'm saying, just be careful. Don't share everything with him. Do not share everything with him because you know who his friends are. Please don't. No, but that may man, who I'm gonna talk to. He was going there and did my um, thumbnail and logo and stuff, and then do when I said what I said about Levi, I do turn on pretty much. And I mean, and I'm, and I'm kind of lost because when Angelo come back telling me something like that, I'm like, you know, I talked to Wisdom. So then it's on Angelo that I'm pushing the narrative. And this was during a time when the commission had split up. This was during a time that I accepted Kevin Terrell apology. And man, Levi was beefing. That's what Levi was talking about when he said we both came public. And we both, you know, let it go. That's why I mean that's why I mean Levi tight as we are now. Just be careful. I don't know what, what everybody's up to. I don't know what their angle is. I don't know what they want. I really don't know. I don't know what they want. I don't know what they need. 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 They have you as if you're stealing that money, whoever it is that's behind it all. And you can see, you can see it, you, you see it. And they, they, of course they got, they say Levi is part of it too. But Levi is trying to clear his name. Levi ain't saying shit about that at all. No, Levi ain't saying Dana ain't going That's why I said what I said. I go to war for these fake ass motherfuckers. And it's like, Bender just kept saying, yo, I think you and Shaborn got to get, got, got to get talk because y'all a team and I'm lost. Yeah, he wants you back with the Shaborn and them. And they're behind a lot of things. It, that's not going to happen. And I told him that. Then they want to say, oh, them girls did a lot of research now. I mean, but if I thought they might have did that stuff. But a lot of this stuff is stolen. I don't know. Well, what kind of research? What do they do? Look at the newspaper and, and print off stuff in the newspaper? That's not research. That's just, you know, well, it is research because you're looking through the newspaper. But anybody can get that. I just look at it like people. So, sorry about that. I can go on and on, on and on, on and on, debunking all of their lies, debunking all of their lies. But the only thing I want to do. Is continue doing what I'm doing and leaving them the fuck alone. That's it. My whole thing was I wish I can do it all over again from the beginning. I wouldn't speak to none of them. None of them. And I mean none of them. And I mean that. I wouldn't speak to none of them. If I can do it all over again. And then I know people are going to try to pick and choose certain parts and be like, oh, Dana and Levi was beefing. Yes, man, Levi was beefing at one point. That's why the commission split apart. Because me and Levi was beefing. But me and Levi are great. 
are great. So let me go here. Let's see something else. See what else I got. See what else I got. If you don't take your friend from his own ass over there. She changed her name on Facebook, too. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to leave you All right, this was the yeah, She said, uh, she didn't want nobody to know. She said she came up with a But I guess we have, uh, she has real some powerful tour. She said, I said, I said, what's going on? She said, it's spreading. Please don't see me. And I said, okay. So, I know she said she don't want to talk about it. Uh, now, because we birthday twins, she said, I don't want to talk about it now. She said, I'll try me tomorrow. She said, I have, and I'm keeping it safe. I would please tell Dana and BT. She said, I have, and I'm keeping it. She said, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it safe. I would please tell Dana. The BT not to broadcast is great. I'm to God, my name is my time is winding down. I may not see my brother come home. This dumps because it's spread to my liver. Yep. I yeah. the triple the post of uh, what's that natural triangle? Natural triad triax or something. But I'm I'm all right. I just need to start making my rounds. My mother said I'm there last night and I told me to get ready and she waited and I broke out in tears because my kid still doesn't know. This is a hard appeal to swallow before when my grace of God is catching it. Love you and tell my Kelly sisters that I love them too. I ask you to get out of it so I catch I guess she was sending this to you as she said it to you. But I said, I don't have an issue with nobody. It's just that the way I was done, an apology is me. You know what I'm saying? For the beginning. Bro. You said what? But I told her, but I said, I don't have an issue with nobody. An apology is me for the beginning. And sometimes, and the best apology is the one that you never get. So, so I told her, I don't have no beef with nobody, but I, I just. Hold on. <clears throat> mm-hmm. 
You see what I'm saying? Trying to forget me. Not for you, but forget me. It's for you. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's what she basically trying to say. What I was trying to tell you is, you know, on your line, like, man, break it. So, whatever you're dealing with, man, just open that can of worms and call that can of worms. Just keep it moving. I'm keeping it moving. I am not. I'm not. Yeah, I mean, you ain't even with nobody now. Ain't nothing else to part of that. I think that day when you did one mine, after I did mine, I think that shut a lot of shit down. So I ain't gonna go back to what he do. He ain't supposed to do nothing. Now is it the, the, the pop there that we just got they should set off of that and just keep it pushing, keep it pushing, keep it pushing. Now I'm really push the fence on now. Um when I when I text that, I didn't when I listened to you said that uh, uh, I'm gonna let people know the R. Kelly defense line, the one that Dana uh, was promoting, that is the one for the anti, so everybody knows. I'm gonna, I'm gonna push that as well. And uh, that's yeah, that's why I'm just waiting. That's a, yeah, that's why I said yeah, it. Yeah, go ahead. So, um, when I texted, I didn't, when I listened to you said that, uh, I'm gonna let people know the R. Kelly defense line, the one that Dana uh, was promoting, that is the one for the anti, so everybody knows. I'm gonna, I'm gonna push that as well. And uh, yeah, that's why I'm just waiting for some. And I always say, when we really got to rock with a person, apologize. So I'm just keep the shit moving, man. Sometimes the forgiveness is not big enough, but forgiveness is for you. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's what she basically trying to say. What I was trying to tell you is, you know, on your line, like, man, break it. So, whatever you're dealing with, man, just open that can of worms and call that can of worms. Just keep it moving. I'm keeping I am not, I'm not, yeah, I mean, you ain't even with nobody now, ain't nothing else to part of that. I think that day when you did one mine, after I did mine, I think that shut a lot of shit down. So I ain't gonna go back to what he do, he ain't supposed to do nothing. Now is it the, the pop there that we just got, they should say off of that and just keep it pushing, keep it pushing, keep it pushing. Now I'm gonna really push the fence on now. Um, when I, when I text that, I didn't, when I listened to you said that, uh, uh, I'm going to let people know the R. Kelly defense line, the one that Dana uh, was promoting, that is the one for the anti, so everybody knows. Man, there's just so much, man. So much. But <clears throat> it is what it is. People can say and think what they want. <laughs> so much more. Um, I'm gonna come back later. It's two ten. I'm behind schedule. I'm gonna come back later, around like four o'clock, four fifteen, and I'm gonna address somebody else. Cause now that I sit back and think about all this, I think the D class need to continue. But it would, but it will continue over on my backup channel, Dana J Presents. I'll be over there at two thirty. So for everybody that want to know about the bonds, the stock, what happened yesterday, how to reclaim your birthright, all that. Then, uh, yeah, meet me over on my backup channel at 2.30. Also, one of the Dream Team own had a house fire. And we are all accepting, well, not we, but she is accepting donations. That's Lanai Jones. That's one of our own. Anything helps. So she had a house fire. Her house caught on fire. Um. And, you know, she not asking for anything, but as a dream team leader, I figured that we need to pitch in in this time and it's trying time for her. So her PayPal is paypal.me backslash backslash C-H-I, the number one, two, T-O, capital U, capital L lowercase a capital n lowercase a lowercase i 
So her PayPal is paypal.me backslash capital C, lowercase h, lowercase i. The number one, lowercase t, lowercase o, capital U, capital L, lowercase a, capital N as in Nancy, lowercase a, and lowercase i. Her cash app is dollar sign, capital C, lowercase h, lowercase i, the number one, lowercase t, lowercase o, capital U. Her cash app again is dollar sign, capital C, lowercase h, lowercase i. The number one, lowercase t, lowercase o, capital U. All right? Every little bit helps. Every little bit. Um, love Lenata Death. Um, very down-to-earth person. Wouldn't trade her for the world. I don't care what nobody say. Wouldn't trade her for the world. And to go. What's up? I keep telling y'all. I'm Dream Team's leader. But I'm O'Cove affiliated. <laughs> that make people mad. That nigga say he affiliated. You're right. And it's crazy because you would think that people that have a difference of opinion than you will be worse than the people that claim that they have the same opinion of you. Is always the opposite. And just because they part of Old Cove don't mean they bad. Just because they part of the dream team don't mean they bad. Contrary to what other people want you to believe on these YouTube streets. We all know. We all know. How people are. So. It is what it is. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. Keep God in everything you do. Um, I'll be back at 2.30 on, on my backup page. We're going to get it in. We're going to talk about some George Soros. We're going to talk about some Bill Gates. We're going to talk about if you are really a citizen or not. Because a lot of misformed, misinformed information has been out there. So I'm going to prove to you that what I say is fact and is law and is Bible. If you don't want to take part, don't take part. If you just want to come and listen, be like, mm, okay. Come listen and say, mm, okay. Am I going to be Democrat shaming? No. But you just got to show up. Because my sister Brooke got some homework to do. She got to tell me who her straw man is. While Wayne got to tell me the three steps, even though it's four. But I want to know the first three steps of reclaiming your birthright. 2.30, meet me over there. We're going to have some fun. Dana J gone. Don't you know, he's a good guy, just a pity, but the good.